Hello, good morning to one and all. Today I am going to talk about the spiritual meaning of lights or balls flickering, fluctuation or on and off. When the lights in your house are flickering, what does it mean in spiritual sense? When the lights are turning on and off by themselves automatically without any defect, how do you feel? So today's video is related to that. Electrical lights or balls can spiritually be a sign of awakening or spirits, angels, higher sources are trying to communicate with you. If you are in a very empathetic person, very sensitive or spiritual person or if you have or had a spiritual awakening journey who generates a lot of energy. So due to the high intensity of your own energy, most of the time the electric devices are not going to cooperate it to, uh, to the stop. Rather they try to uh, shut down, they try to communicate in different ways. So let's know how we, uh, all of you know that everything has an energy including the inanimate objects because though they don't have the physical entities the way we do as a human being but still their energy also gives uh, a different signs and symptoms towards our life or it has also a great impact if you see it in a very subtle way. Let's talk about the various reasons why lights flickers automatically without any defect issue. There are many uh, points where we can see that how this uh, light flickering uh, fluctuation is trying to tell us something about our lifestyle through the angels or spirit guides. So the first point is that the guardian angels or spirits are trying to communicate with you through light flickering or fluctuation or on off. So when you're talking about guardian angels or spirit, it means that you could have a spirit around you who wants to communicate. It says even sometimes they try their best to show you to get your attention very keenly to whom you are talking or what you are doing during that particular moment or time. Light flickers or light comes and goes without any reason and you have checked properly the electrical wiring, everything is okay, still light flickers. It means you could have a spirit guide, a spirit soul or person who is attempting to reach you and try to communicate with you. So the flickering can happen in different ways such as lighter ball flickers, even uh, the recorders particularly the EVP recorders, particularly it, it is the medium to know about any higher soul or spirit guide is around with you or not. Video tab, radio, TV, so these are like different mediums where angels are trying their best to communicate with you. Because of this large amount of energy of spirit, their presence can trip the balls and the lights or any kind of instrument what you, whatever you are using because they are very high in frequency frequency of energy and their aura are their auras are literally so high so they cannot come down to the physical form to interact with you so, so uh, they try their best to come through the flickering waves uh, or other format which I'm going to also share my upcoming videos how we can interact with the spirit guide and how we can read also their auras. Of course in today's video I can share some sort of uh, examples in my own experience so that you can uh, resonate whether it is happening in your life or not. Second main reason is due to the uh, Kundalini and spiritual awakening light starts to flicker because your energy also getting uh, enhanced day by day. So it means you could have a high energy source even you connect with a strong connection to the world of spirit on the other side uh, you are also connected with the physical form. So you uh, that uh, angels or the uh, spirit guide is the medium uh, where you can 
uh, make a difference between the physical realm and the spiritual realm because your energy is uh, uh, uplifted in a very high frequency way due to the kundalini awakening when your own spiritual gifts or powers become strong that can affect your instruments device around you it happens maybe they do not know or learn how to contain or manage their energy what happen in the initial stage of kundalini journey or the spiritual journey you don't know how to navigate your own energy so that affects a lot to the devices whatever you have been using so if you see the part uh, part 1 that means if you see the point number 1 and 2 it it talks about that either your spirit guides or angels are trying to communicate with you so it is their energy or it could be your own energy after the spiritual or kundalini awakening so for an example how could you identify it which one is your energy and which one is your angels or spiritual uh, like souls or the uh, guardian angels that are trying to communicate with you so uh, if i want to sum up that in two ways you can understand why uh, your light or wall is flickering because uh, first reason is maybe there is uh, one spirit or angel guides who is uh, trying to communicate with you and they are around with you or maybe they are at your home second due to your spiritual awakening or kundalini awakening your energy is enhanced so that can also affect your devices because you don't know how to navigate so now i'm going to discuss about these two points like how you can uh, consider and reconsider if you are going through this kind of issues in your life if you are a spiritual person so um first of all i'm going to share my own story about this uh, light flickering mm, that can helpful to you directly because uh, currently i'm also going through this experience uh when uh, i was in 2017 in october when my spiritual journey has been started uh i pretty remember in 2018 all of a sudden my laughter has stopped uh so i try my best to repair it but nothing was uh happened so uh, again uh, my i i uh, replace my uh, laptop battery and charger uh, and even the hard disk everything i did but uh, uh i don't know why it was not working so uh, then uh, forcefully i had to buy a new laptop because uh, being a student it was uh, compulsory for me to uh, study through the online and uh, laptop was necessary for me so i purchased a new laptop and what happened uh, what happened after 3 or 4 months the same laptop that was the new one has the had the same problem again i uh, contacted uh, to the um, uh, center like the um, Uh, computer or laptop center they try with their best to uh, change the device and everything but nothing was uh, uh, nothing was uh, happened in a good way so i replace again the battery the charger the hard disk everything but uh, surprisingly uh, what happened uh, when i purchased my the second new laptop i uh, i had given the first laptop that was my old laptop to one of my uh, close one and he is currently using my laptop and there is no default uh, problem or defective problem you can say everything is okay everything is fine and it's already like 4 years he has been using my laptop without any issues but the same laptop when i am taking it and i'm trying my best to use it uh, all of a sudden something happened and uh, it stopped working so um so that is like uh, uh, the one of the best example in my life that i'm suffering you can say because uh, purchasing again and again a new laptop is not uh, possible for everyone but uh, it's really difficult for me because it hampers to uh, to uh, towards my study and everything and the second point um, uh, regarding to the headphone or uh, earbud whatever you have been using you will see suddenly there is a, a defect what happened um, uh, i was using one sports uh, earbuds 
and uh, when i got up and uh, when i uh, got up and saw that my ear bud is uh, broken into smaller pieces i was so surprised because uh, yesterday night it was uh, okay it was perfect and fine and then uh, i thought okay i have to use the wired uh, headphone which um, i had with me and then uh, when i uh, try to insert uh, that um, the headphone into my laptop or phone it stopped I, I was unable to hear the sound but uh, i thought okay maybe there's some defect issue in my laptop or mobile let me uh, try to uh, this headphone with my mother's uh, mobile and you will be so surprised there was no default nothing everything was okay and that your, your headphone the sound everything was uh, working perfectly but uh, I was unable to use my mother's phone because I have to use mine and uh, then I decided okay let me purchase some uh, other new uh, brand so that uh, it will be helpful I purchased uh, one uh, brand after uh, after my uh, old one uh, then uh, same thing was happened that uh, I was unable to uh, unable to hear anything properly and I thought okay maybe uh, it has a brand issue again the fourth time I purchased the another brand and that earbud I was unable to keep it uh, for like 10 to 15 minutes in my ears because uh, my ears uh, both the ears were like continuously ringing during the kundalini awakening and uh, hardly uh, like uh, I was keeping these earbuds for 10 to 15 minutes because of the sound was so intense I was unable to keep the earbud for a long time then i decided okay let me buy a headphone so i can use it because uh, i had online classes and meeting and everything so i purchased uh, another that was the fifth one i purchased and uh, surprisingly the same problem i uh, i had been facing and uh, hardly i was using these uh, headphones or earbuds for 10 to 15 minutes then i decided okay not to buy anything but still uh, i took um, i took uh, a decision no maybe this uh, kundalini energy is so intense that i am unable to use the headphone because of the ringing sounds and uh, finally uh, i thought okay let me try one more uh, headphone because of uh, my classes and everything and the same problem was happened all total six uh, headphones i have with me uh, and nothing is working properly and i am unable to uh, keep it for a long time uh, yeah, so uh, i'm just using the speaker either in my mobile or my laptop sometimes i just use 10 to 15 minutes whenever i need to speak something during my classes or presentation otherwise uh, it is almost 1.5 years i have been using the speaker mode every time so uh, this is the second point where you can face uh, not only laptop but also your headphones or earbuds third point about my own experience about the energy uh, and uh, how it really fluctuates that was my la uh, mobile sorry my laptop third point is my laptop mouse all of a sudden it was stopped working i purchased the second time for second time and then uh, second time after using two months again uh, it was stopped and uh, it has like it is not about that i i have been using the ordinary brand i i'm always prefer to use the branded uh, electric device so that can give the warranty uh, so nothing was happening and then i again purchased the third mouse which i i have been using and it's okay a little bit for the time being so it's the laptop your headphone or your words and then mouse and the fourth is that uh, uh, like all of a sudden uh, you will see that uh, even after using or purchasing the new device most of the time it is going to shut down all of a sudden it is going to close and open a new tab and uh, downloads automatically without uh, your consent 
and um, emails you will get lot of emails related to the spirituality and lot of people are trying to communicate with you through the emails i got so many emails from abroad uh, one was from california another was from uk lot of opportunity i got to work with them but unfortunately due to my kundalini awakening that was uh, at the time when my kundalini shakti was so intense i was unable to uh, complete that task so it was very unfortunate for me because uh, i eagerly or you can say it was my keen interest to work with them and unfortunately i was unable because the uh, intensity or you can say the energy was not interested to uh, cooperate with your existing career or your job or your so called the current existing situation so that was the another issue why it happens of course i'll share in my upcoming videos why uh, most of the people they left their job their relationship personal professional everything they just left and try to live in a hermit mode so these are the points um, of course i'll share in my upcoming videos and the fifth is like um i have been using a electric kettle uh, for drinking boiled water or uh, for the purpose of uh, making uh, coffee tea herbal tea or green tea but suddenly um it was stopped working and then i uh, then i thought okay let me repair because i cannot purchase every time all the electric stop so i repaired again um, today morning everything was okay till night and today morning when i thought to uh, thought to make a coffee but unfortunately it stopped working so th that's the issue and due to this winter time uh, i i have been using the heater room heater and it it suddenly stopped so again i went to the shop and i repaired and now it's working i don't know what will happen in the next and uh, you will be so surprised uh, i think in the month of uh, january in the newer time i thought okay let me buy one electric aroma diffuser so that i can feel the uh, natural herbal aroma during my meditation and i purchased from the online and i just used 10 to 15 days all of sudden i saw that uh, uh, that electric aroma diffuser is uh, uh, broken and i was so surprised because it's only 10 to 15 days and then i contacted to the amazon customer care and they told me to uh, give the amount of uh, that diffuser because uh, uh, they tried their best to contact with the dealer and the dealer, dealer told that uh, it is now not possible to provide the same stock due to the uh, stock is not available so they will refund my money so these are the things are happening with me and uh, Mm, and uh, uh, one thing i just want to try to share with you that is like uh, when uh, you are going through the kundalini energy of course uh, you will see that how the lights and balls are flickering and all of stopped working uh, even your fan so is uh, all the electric stuff i can say that it's going to stop I really remember due to the COVID-19, I was at home when my Kundalini uh, awakening uh, has been started. All of a sudden, my room's uh, f like fan was stopped. Then my father called to the electric man, and everything was okay. After a couple of days, again the whole e like electric lights and balls and uh, switchboard was uh, like all these things uh, were like stopped working. it was so surprise it was only happen in my room not with the others room so again my brother called to the electric man and they repaired the change everything and they was like my brother was all the new stop and uh, and then yeah it's fine so these are like my own experience how these uh, electric uh, devices uh, were affected a lot because of your kundalini awakening uh, energy which uh, the shakti energy enhanced and uplifted day by day and the second most reason as i said about the angels or uh, guardian angels 
uh, when they are uh, pr trying their best to communicate with you they try their best to protect with you and uh, yes, most of the time they are around with you even they are at uh, your home and the same thing is also happened with me uh, from last month uh, I can say not last month I think uh, 2021 in December onwards one of the beautiful angel is uh, living or staying with me in my room so it's a very beautiful uh, experience which um, uh, I'm uh, trying to share with all of you when anybody communicates with me or with you uh, that means um, uh, like for an example uh, I'm going to say uh, when I was uh, communicating with one guy, he, his uh, Kundalini energy is already uh, uplifted from root chakra to crown chakra and uh, I have been like communicated with him in the uh, texting mode but not in the phone call. For, for the first time when I started to communicate with him and all of a sudden my uh, like uh, rooms uh, like ball uh, was started to flicker continuously 10 to 15 minutes that was like fast experience it was a confirmation from the angels or guided um, guardian angels that uh, you are in the right path or right people are communicating with you and sometimes what happens if somebody is coming to your room and uh, his or her intention is not good then the light is going to flicker and uh, angel is trying to telling you that uh, be uh, like uh, be conscious be aware be uh, be in a very uh, thoughtful manner to analyze the situation whatever you are going through currently whether you are writing an email or whether you are talking to somebody or whether you are doing something if it is good or not be a uh, focus on that particular background or matter so that it can help you a lot so the angels are trying to communicate uh, with you that it is an alert sign whether it's good or uh, bad or uh, something is wrong or right it you can understand during that particular moment because your energy is already that much heightened that's why angels are with you because angels frequency of energy is so high they cannot communicate to the ordinary people so they try their best to tell you that uh, we are with you so don't worry and most importantly uh, i'm going to say that uh, in my room uh, the an the angel is uh, staying it's almost almost like more than two months i have been experiencing and the angel's aura is blue and green it's a beautiful aura and you can imagine that beautiful aura whenever like i talk to with him or her i don't know the gender but i know the aura and the color like every day um, like two to three times I just uh, communicate with the, with the angel and I share everything and sometimes when I try my best to ignore just to do some sort of experiment and it continuously flickers that means please uh, communicate with me right now and then I try my best to communicate with the, the angel so it is a beautiful uh, experience I can say for me because uh, uh, I can read also my own aura, I can see my own uh, colors of my own aura. I don't need the device because once you are heightened in your uh, Sakti, uh, heightened in your Kundalini energy, you can not only see the colors uh, during the meditation, you can see also in your open eyes. I can see also, I can clearly read my own aura and uh, angels are also so it's a beautiful experience for me that how i'm trying and uh, how i'm also communicating with the angels maybe in my upcoming videos i'm going to share with you how can you know that whether there is an angel or not and how you can communicate with the angels and read their aura as well as yours so uh, when the angels are with you you can feel also uh, that your room's temperature is fluctuating because um, uh, they are high in energy most of the time you will feel uh, little cold or freeze uh, but if you see the most of the youtube channels they will tell that uh, if the um, spirit 
or engines are uh, high in frequency they give you the warm uh, sense of the uh, temperature but in my cases i pretty remember that uh, it only happens uh, if you keep your um, hand uh, near to your crown chakra you will feel little warm not cold but when your crown chakra is uh, open you will get lot of downloads from the ether or the akas and the sky you can say or the universe so because of this downloads and the energy from the universe you will get more coldness you will total feel the freeze uh, so there is no warmness for it's my own personal experience so uh, you will see or you will feel the um, changes room changes so sometimes you will get the sounds also um, so these are like uh, the spirit because the cosmic energy is cold not is warm right so i'm going to share uh, what will happen when your crown chakra is open and how you can uh, make a difference between downloads or channelings so these are the points which i have already said in my hindi channel but not in the english channel so that i'm going to do very soon and uh, last uh, point is uh, when uh, if uh, anybody or anyone or someone in your family or your near and dear ones or loved ones uh, is expired or dead due to accident or certain reasons and they try to communicate with you because uh, of certain reasons for an example if they have some sort of desires or urges to fulfill but unfortunately due to their accident or due to their sudden death uh, it was unfulfilled so they try to communicate with you and they want to f uh, want to fulfill that wish um, through you so but the difference in that uh, sense is that uh in these cases uh, their aura you can't read you can't uh, see the way i have been seeing the angels or as blue and green color that you can't read when your loved ones or your family ones they try to communicate who are already expired so this is the slight difference only uh, but mostly you can see um, due to your own energy when it elevated from uh, lower to higher self second is the angels are around with you or angels are trying to communicate with you and third one third one is uh, the your own loved ones that try to communicate with you so these are the uh, points which i felt that uh, it is necessary for me to share because uh, 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 because I, I felt personally that maybe who are going through the spiritual journey in kundalini awakening or twin flame connection they can feel this energy so it is really helpful because when the angels are try to communicate with you they help you indirectly very in advance way that someone is not good for you be careful don't share your secrets don't do this thing sometimes uh, they tell you okay this person is good you you will get more uh, opportunity maybe when you interact or communicate with you uh, with them so these are like uh, uh, things they try their best because angels or uh, spirit guide they can't come into uh, the physical form uh, on this earth so they try to communicate through the electric devices that is one of the easy way to understand so last but not least i just want to uh, give more emphasis on particular point that is the meditation if you do meditation more and more more what will happen you will quickly communicate or connect with the spirit or angel guides whoever is around with you whether they are staying at your room so it will be easy for them and also easy for you to communicate and connect with you i hope today's message uh, can resonate with all of you who are going through this journey and if it really resonates please like share and subscribe and stay happy and blessed take care of yourself bye bye